Hi folks, this is Dragon at our um, retreat in BOL. Uh, this is a video on our solar lighting system. Uh, what we have in front of me here uh, is a 5 watt uh, solar panel wired up to a battery inside. Um, it's a very small capacity solar panel uh, designed to keep the battery charge topped up. It won't charge a battery from dead flat. So uh, if you just follow me, I'll just pan around first. These are the solar uh, LED uh, lights uh, lighting up the common area I was talking about in a previous video. As you can see they're quite bright uh, to the point where you can read a book quite well. Now just down here, this one is an external light shining off in the direction of the um, uh, pit loo. Uh, so if you just follow me, I'll get down this ladder. Okay, just standing back a bit. That gives you some idea of the lighting um, on the um, solar battery system. Very bright in there. Uh, the um, solar lights, uh, LED lights, the two rear ones there are uh, 4 watt. Uh, LED uh, light strips. It's all a 12 volt system, and the uh, the one uh, in the foreground here is a smaller one. Uh, so on this string here, and I'll show you the battery in a minute. Working off that solar panel I just showed you, we've got 12 LED lights going uh, throughout the common area. Uh, you can see two to slightly left there lights up the um, table area where we do the washing up and, and cooking. Uh, another one there over a uh, gas burner and we've got a light here to light up the other um, covered area and I don't know if you can see it here we've got a light behind that tree shining down on the uh, the tank um, tap so that uh, you know we can find our way to, to get water overnight. Now if you just follow me we'll go inside This is the inside of our storage van with the LED lighting. These are strip lights, um, the two rear ones we've had in here for about oh, seven years or so. Haven't had a failure. The one in the foreground is a much brighter one I installed about 12 months ago. It's a 4 watt one. And as you can see in here, there's quite a lot of light. It's uh, very, very good. So I'll just spin round. Now, coming off the solar panel, I've installed a regulator here. Uh, this is to regulate the charge into the battery during the day so that uh, it doesn't overcharge the battery, uh, run it dry, or um, you know, buckle the plates. And I'll just pan down, and that's the battery there. Okay, it's only a small capacity battery. Uh, there's an eye, a charge eye here, what they call it here. Uh, when that's green, the, the battery's fully charged. Uh, LED lighting is very efficient. Very low current drain on batteries. You can even use an old car battery. Uh, it won't start a car, but it'll have enough uh, oomph in it to, to drive LED lighting because uh, it's very, very low, uh, low current drain to drive LED lights. Uh, very efficient lighting. And each van is, has an independent system. Um, just walk over this way and I'll show you inside another van. This one has its own solar panel and battery. And if we have a look inside, we've got the LED strip lights. Now these ones uh, are about 10 years old. Haven't had any failures with them, it's all 12 volt system. There's another one up the back there on the independent switch, I haven't switched on as the switch is up the back. But if you have a look inside, that's just the light coming off the LEDs. No other light is being used to uh, 
in this uh, video at all so they're quite bright very bright actually very efficient they're safe no fire hazard from lamps or candles uh, particularly with young kids around um, and this is an outside one we've installed to uh, light up the step into into the van so there it is folks LED lighting very efficient 12 volt solar system I went with 12 volts because it's quite common uh, if we have to do any uh, salvaging and that sort of thing for wiring lights you know batteries that sort of thing so uh, there we go served us well haven't had any real failures uh, they, all these are waterproof these LED lights and uh, that gives you a better idea of how well it lights up the, the common area there with all the stuff on the table certainly a lot better than candle and, and uh, hurricane lamps when we first came out here we used hurricane lamps before we really set this place up and uh, believe me you couldn't see squat I don't know how they did it in the old days but I tell you what it was pretty hard on the eyes you couldn't even read a book so uh, there it is folks uh, the other van further down uh, it has its own independent LED lighting system too so if one uh, van fails it doesn't take the other two out they're all independent so that uh, hope this might help some people give you a few ideas to play around with thanks very much